funny story I had. There's a Liberace record I'm looking for, that I've been looking for. And he says, we now return to the classics. So I always wanted that little snippet. And I, didn't, I don't know, I didn't know which Liberace record it was on. He has so many records out. So I go into a store and grab the whole Liberace section and listen, like go through listening. And the cats will be like, yo, what's with this dude? This big old crazy looking dude with a bunch of jewelry on and gold teeth. And I used to wear a mask because I didn't like dust getting on my face. So I have a, a dust mask, a whole bunch of jewelry on, like an army fatigue coat, and a Big Bird portable record player listening to Liberace records. So I'm like, you know, who knows what Cass is thinking. They're like, this guy's a lunatic, you know what I'm saying? She said, don't you, um, don't you, you know, get up at 5 a.m. and meet up with them at the swap meet and walk around? And I said, yeah. So she said, you're one of them. Uh, there's a lot of them. Uh, some of them don't even set out to be shysty. But, you know, like I come into a store and I say, uh, hey, did anything new come in? Yeah, well, these just came in, but they're not priced yet. Okay, so I say, well, can I take a look? Sure, so I go through, I pull something out I want, right? So immediately, because it's me, it's a $50 record. It, 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 you know, no matter what it is, it might be a $50 record, or it might be a 10 cent record, but because I want it, it's a $50 record. I ask the guy at the dealer, and I say, now, why are you going to do that to me? Is, like, is there anything sacred anymore, you know what I'm saying? Not, not nowadays, I hit the store. It means I go through the entire store because you got people that don't know what's up and they put records in the wrong sections. I've found crazy dope records like in the classical section or opera section. You also got heads that come in and might have found the records and they stashed them. I mean, they couldn't afford them, so they're going to say, I'm going to come back and buy these next week. And you know, you, find, you, you see somebody stash. You find like a wig store, like wigs and records, or stoves and records, or furniture and records. It's like, it's, it's bananas. Like even back in the day, they used to sell records in the grocery store. They used to have records by the, by the cash register. You go up there and, you know, grab something. So this is uh, some of my records. Uh, I got another unit next to this one. Uh, Mom's garage. 
a room at my mom's crib, uh, my bedroom, and you know, records of the crib. So, this is some of my stuff, and uh, man, it's hard to move. Me. Can you tell the people a little bit about why you're wearing a lumberjack with the hat to match? Yeah, that's hip hop, man. It's because we're going hunting, man. We're going record hunting. So, God bless the part, man, and get right. <laughs> Like the do it your way, uh, impeach the president, substitution, Manziel, third guitar, just strictly the classic, classic joints that I feel are mandatory. You know what I'm saying? Also, uh, when you, you get into digging for records, you start digging. You know, I don't know about everyone else, but me, I started digging for other stuff. Like um, I was in uh, New York playing as part of the spinner, and he had this crazy 45 at that point. Like my man, I, it was hot, right? I was like, where you get that? He's like, oh, I got, I caught that in Germany. So, you know, that's all the info I needed. And then I got on my mission and um, try to track them down. So I got a pair. They look like that. They're like extra heavy. Um, they're like the regular cone shape. They're, they're thick and high, like the uh, techniques joints. But then they got the cone shape. They got a crazy mad weight to them. So while I was out looking for these ones, I came across another crazy one that looks like basically half of a ball. So I had to get that one too, right? 